On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. This is the Evil Chicken Outfit, one of the most difficult sets to obtain in the entire game. Each piece has a 1 in 1200 chance to be received when offering a bird egg at the nest altar in the woodcutting guild, making it overall 1 in 300 to loot any piece, so in this episode we are going to collect 300 of these eggs in hopes of looting any of these pieces. What makes this so hard to obtain is because until recently there were only 3 ways of getting your hands on these eggs, and let's just say they were not great. The first method is birdhouses. Every 50 minutes you can loot 4 birdhouses, and at my hunter level of roughly 80, I will obtain on average 8 total nests per round. Now the math for the odds of getting nests is pretty complicated and will be written out in the description, but to put it simply, if you do birdhouse runs without missing a single minute, you should get 1 egg every 3.3 hours, making 300 eggs from birdhouses a 1000 hour grind. The second method is the Kingdom of Miscellanea. Maintaining an upgraded kingdom with high favor and funds at all times will extremely slowly generate very few but some eggs making it a good passive income of eggs that is very easy to maintain. Lastly, when cutting any tree you have a 1 in 256 chance per log cut regardless of tree to see a bird nest dropped on the ground. The chance of it being an egg nest is roughly 1 in 31.6, making an egg dropped roughly every 8000 log cuts. With all that said, recently a new method was released and later on in this video we will cover it, but until then, let's get into collecting these eggs. Alright, this is it. We are now beginning the first day of the birdhouse runs and for that I am going to be getting all these dig site pendants. You have to kind of make them on your own because you can't actually buy them. And these are the teleport options I'm going to be using for all my birdhouse runs, so I'm going to make a lot of them. So I ended up making 200 dig site pendants and buying everything I need for the birdhouse runs, but I do want to mention when this first clip was recorded to show you guys how long this grind has been. The first clip was recorded 2022, November 23rd. That is over a year ago. But it is now time to head over to Miscellanea and get my kingdom running for that passive income of eggs which is going to be essential to save as much time as possible. I have not been here in the longest time so I had to get a 100 approval rating and then I realized I have not completed Royal Trouble. After playing how many hours, like 150 days, 153 days, I need to complete this quest right away. And there it is, Royal Trouble completed, so we should have 50% more resources to use now. And there we go, the idol is max. We're going to be depositing 10 million GP, so I don't really have to care about it at all. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, 7.5 million is the maximum. And then we're going to just max out on wood, and then I guess the rest on maybe mahogany, hardwood. I'm not sure if this even gives a bird nest, but I think this is good enough. But it's time to build the first birdhouse of the entire grind, so let me go through the process real quick. You have these magic logs, at least for my level, you can also do U logs and a bunch of other logs for different levels. And if you combine it with clockworks, you make these bird houses. You do need a hammer and chisel as well to actually make this, so remember to bring that. And when you have all your bird houses done, place one on the pad and then add the seeds to actually activate the bird house. You see this absolutely massive mushroom right here? It's actually a teleport network. There's four different ones teleporting you all over the place of the fossil island. And also, I did unlock a new teleport on my dig site pendant, making it super easy to traverse this island, making every bird house run take like a minute. It has been 50 minutes and we have the first one to empty so let's see what the experience is like 1.1k that is really good but no bird nest for the first one. Oh my god that was so many bird nests but uh, still unfortunately no eggs the getting 300 of these is going to be quite something might as well just check the last one as well in the same clip and yeah absolutely nothing from 50 minutes of uh, the first bird houses. I have actually not used this necklace for the longest time, so I actually completely forgot it existed, the strong rabbit foot. When it is equipped, you have a decreased chance of getting empty nests, which actually means you have a higher chance, only slightly, to get bird eggs from birdhouses. Oh, the first bird's nest with an egg in it, a one out of 300 completed, maybe thanks to the necklace. It has been exactly today a month since I put in the 7.5 million GP into the kingdom. We still have 5.4 million GP in the coffer. 
and let's actually just collect and see how much we're going to be getting and let's see how many god eggs most uh, of all we're going to be getting from this so let's collect the resources and we got zero we got zero in one month another month has passed let's collect the kingdom again please just not zero this time please oh we got how many is that eight bird eggs Okay, so eight bird eggs in one month. If that is good, this is going to be a tough grind. I've actually kind of been slacking with bird runs in the past month, but we have another month completed. Four. Oh, that is pretty good. How many is that? That is like nine bird eggs. Pretty decent. We have a big level coming in, actually. 80 Hunter, and that is the first milestone level of the video. I've not really been doing birdhouse runs too diligently. I'm really only doing it between grinds now and then. Even though I am a bit of a slacker for birdhouse runs, something I've not been slacking at all on is the kingdom. And it's been three months since I did my last collection. I've had it at nearly 100% the entire time. So let's collect 8, 6, and 14. That's a good amount, but for three months, god damn it, man. I kind of realize I have to do a bit better with my birdhouse runs because it's been six months of recording clips casually for this video, and I only have 56 eggs right now. I need like six times that. It has been another four months of collecting miscellanea. This is the longest one so far. I'm expecting a lot here. Hopefully, we're going to be getting a bunch of eggs. Let's go ahead and collect the resources. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. what is that? 28 eggs. That is like 10% of all the next eggs I needed in four months, though. There has been a massive update recently with forestry where there's a bunch of events that can pop up randomly when woodcutting with other people. And apparently, one of them actually gives a guaranteed bird egg, which has revolutionized the method of collecting these. So let's give it a try. Oh, we got it. We got the event after 65,000 woodcutting experience, so it didn't take that long. And what you have to do now is you have to just participate in this event. You cut the Entling's hair depending on what it requests, and you should see a bird. There it is. That's the bird egg or uh, the bird nest with an egg in it. And that didn't even take that long. That's crazy. I really need to try this more. No way, dude, that was five minutes! Five minutes between two of these events! Maybe I was just really lucky, I don't know how frequently these should spawn, but if I can get two bird eggs in five minutes, there it is, second one. Oh my god, this might make the grind actually possible. I actually got information that doing this at Draenor is probably the best idea, as the events spawn more frequently the more people there are, and there's just a lot of people here. Apparently, there is also a clan called Forestry CC, which calls out in different worlds and different places when the Entling event actually occurs. But because I kind of want to AFK this, I'm just going to be doing it at Draenor here and not really use this friend chat, as it seems to be pretty quick anyways by just AFKing. Also, from all my anime-infused bark that you get from these events, I'm going to be buying Twitch glove chargers. These basically increase my chance of getting a specific bird nest, so I'm of course going to be picking egg by I think 10%, so it's not a massive amount, but it's anything that helps. I have now been AFKing for pretty much an entire day of woodcutting, and I've gained nearly 600,000 woodcutting experience, and I have 12 eggs in my inventory. That's like an entire month of miscellanea, or even more sometimes. And on top of that, I even missed some events, so I could have got even more than this. And of course, I could have event hopped as well with a clan, but I'm a bit too lazy for that. I enjoy my AFK, and I'm not complaining about the woodcutting experience as well. We are still doing some birdhouse runs in the background, and that is now 82 Hunter. We have got a couple of levels now, only through birdhouses over time. And with this event being done, we are now hitting actually a pretty monumental milestone for the grind. And you can see how much woodcutting experience I have now collected. 1.8 million woodcutting experience at Willows. So it's definitely still taking a good amount of time, but this is vastly quicker than what I was doing before with birdhouse runs and miscellanea. But that is now, if I add all of these to the bank, 200 eggs collectively collected. And that is 100 left only to go, so I actually think with this method, I can finish this within a week. It has been 6 days since the last clip, so I guess I was kind of accurate, but that is now 94 woodcutting and another 2 million woodcutting experience collected. And if we go to the bank and put these 4 eggs in, that is going to mean we are only 6 eggs away from actually completing the grind. 101 red eggs, 98 green and 95 blue. 
And that means 94 woodcutting will be the last level we end at. And I got six woodcutting levels from just this grind. And I've basically just been AFKing this for the past week. And it's been very chill and nice. That's it. That's the last one. 300 eggs have now been collected. I wanted to end it where I began it at birdhouses. We ended on 82 hunter and 94 woodcutting. Good amounts of levels gained from this grind. Let's head over to the bank and see those 300 eggs. Yo, I didn't even think about it until now. Look how even this egg collection is. 102 red, 100 green, dead on, and then 98 blue. If I would have got two more blue and two less red, we would have been exactly on rate. Now, of course, before we can even offer these to the altar, we have to loot all of these nests. And look at this. This is such a satisfying thing. After collecting these for so long... Finally getting to open these nests is cathartic to say the least. I actually don't know if I've ever offered an egg on my main account to this altar and that goes then without saying that I've not got any of the evil chicken outfit pieces on the collection log. We have now also added the loot tracker at the bottom of the screen but I'm not even sure if it works on this altar. Let's just try on one first egg before we really get into the loot. And it does not seem to actually track it but at the bottom there oh, it's automatic. We have now done two offerings and uh, it tracks at least here, so I guess we can remove the loot tracker. The last thing I want to say before we really start looting all of these eggs and seeing if we can win this challenge is that I want the stakes to be high for this one. It was a year to collect all of these eggs, so the stakes has to be high. If I don't end up getting an evil chicken outfit piece, I'm going to be giving away 100 million GP, as there wasn't really a good way of tracking loot for this one, so I think it's only fitting I give away a massive amount for the high stakes. But with that said, let's get into it. First inventory done, absolutely no luck yet. I can't believe I haven't been spooned yet, but at least we're getting some prayer experience, which is nice. We have now passed over 50 eggs offered to the altar with nothing just yet, but when I'm offering these to the altar, all I'm thinking is every single inventory of these eggs is just so much time spent collecting them. As it took one year to get 300 of these, of course, a lot in the end got faster because of the new woodcutting forestry method, but before then, it took me like eight months just to get the first 120 eggs. So without the new forestry method, each of these inventories could be weeks or even months of time spent collecting them. I think we're soon done with all the blue eggs at 84 offerings. We have 14 more to go, so I guess we're starting to dent into the green ones now. And that is 100 offerings made. We have also, of course, made some prayer experience on the way. 10,000 prayer experience. So we're going to be getting like 30k from this entire grind of like a year of collecting eggs. So prayer experience wise, maybe not as worth it. Oh, I had no idea. Look at these birds coming out of the nest. They are the same color as the eggs I'm offering. Or at least I'm assuming so, because I didn't even notice it until now. I brought one red egg just to try it out. Let's see what happens. They are indeed red birds. That is really cool. As we are coming up on 200 offerings, I feel like I've really managed to put in perspective in this video how extremely difficult it is to get these evil chicken outfit pieces. That is now 200 offerings with zero pieces achieved. So unless we get one in the last 97 now red eggs, we are going to have to give away 100 million GP and we spent one year getting zero collection log slots. Man, I gotta be honest, this is kind of depressing. We only have 48 eggs left to go, two inventories pretty much, actually less than that, and we have got nothing, so it's not looking good. Twenty more to go, and the last inventory of eggs coming up.
I guess this is it. The verdict is going to be in in just a couple of seconds here if we're going to be losing 100 million GP to the giveaway, as well as wasting basically an entire year collecting these eggs as the drop rate of these items does not increase by offering more of these eggs. So let's go ahead and do the last three now. Two, one, last egg. What is the verdict? And it is absolutely nothing. 300 eggs collected since December last year to December this year. And we got nothing for it, except losing 100 million GP. And you know what the worst thing about this grind is? That the evil chicken outfit is not even expensive. I just bought every single piece for not even that much. I spent 4 million and we got back 2 million. So I basically bought the entire set for less than 2 million GP. Of course, it's not as good as just getting it yourself. That actually unlocks on the collection log, but... Uh, it is kind of sad that such a rare item set is very cheap. But of course, buying the outfit myself does not count for winning the challenge. So if you want to join the giveaway for the 100 million GP, how you do that is on the screen right now. Good luck to all of you guys who want to participate. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And until next time, guys, take care.